I can't believe it. It's here. It's time. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achano. Welcome to this announcement video because we are about to begin the Game Engine series. Yes, you heard me right. I can't believe how long it's been. I'm so excited to say this, but that's it. The Game Engine series is ready and it's about to start coming out starting next week. Whew. That's it. I'll see you guys next time. No, I'm kidding. But seriously, it's like, I don't know. I've been planning this for like the last two years probably. And I've got this massive plan. Everything's ready to go. Um, I've just, I can't wait to get started on this. It's going to be a huge thing for the whole community. It's not going to be just me kind of working on this. It's going to be everyone. It's going to be really like in depth, really detailed. There's going to be heaps of just stuff that's going to go into all of the videos. It's just... We're gonna build something really, really amazing together and I'm so excited and I just can't wait to actually start this thing. So, I'm like, I'm just so happy right now. I can't even like, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna, in this video, we're just gonna go over a little bit about what on earth the Game Engine series is for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who might be new to my channel. Um, but uh, that's kind of my only plan really for this series and obviously just to say that that's it like it's coming it's ready it's gonna go up like anytime it's just like oh I just can't wait um, so for those of you kind of new, new to my channel you might know have noticed that I kind of am like this channel is kind of like a programming channel but it's not just limited to like programming or game programming or anything like that um, essentially it's really just a channel that revolves around me and my interests because I love teaching and I love sharing everything that I learn with everyone. That's always been a passion of mine. And it doesn't make any sense for me to like teach things that I'm not interested in or things that I'm not currently doing with my life. I'm at the moment and for, for the last almost four years now, I've been a game engine developer at EA, currently working in the Frostbite organization on the mobile engine. Um, so that's my life. That's what I do, right? So I love sharing that with everyone. and. T to be honest, like just teaching has just always been a huge passion of mine. So, what this channel like it really is is just me kind of talking about my passions, talking about stuff that interests me, whether that be kind of in vlogs or tutorial videos, and teaching you guys kind of the same thing that I've learned or just new things that I've picked up or things that I'm realizing. Because I feel that programming and like you know game engine development or game development is like in general has just been like such a like it's just been. It's been it's been overcomplicated so 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 much, um, and I feel like with the way I, that that I teach, like in a lot of cases, because I do private like sessions as well, very limited, like seriously, because like I'm so busy. But I do have like five or five or so students who I do teach privately one on one. Um, just the way that everything clicks for them when I explain something uh, because I try and kind of simplify it and just be like well actually you know if you think about it you know it's not actually that difficult um, like I just love doing that so much and that's kind of a reflection of what my channel I guess is about it's about kind of me teaching my passions and what the stuff that I'm interested in in a bit of a like in a simple way and kind of hope hopefully in that case helping a lot of you people out because that's what I love to do now what I want to say is that my passions don't lie in game programming at all. Like, I don't like games. Um, I'll, I'll say that. Like, it's as simple as that. I don't, I don't play games in my spare time. I did kind of when I was younger, when I was like a kid, I guess. But like, basically, as soon as I become, as soon as I became an adult, apart from the occasional like, I don't know, game of something multiplayer with friends, like I don't don't play games in my spare time at all. I'm just not interested in that. I'm not saying that like I'm against that or like games are evil or games are bad. Like it's a waste of time. Just for me personally, I I get bored. Like it's just not. I don't. It's not something I enjoy doing really. Um, so of course, making games is also something that I don't necessarily enjoy doing. What I am really interested in and what I do enjoy a lot is making game engines. And I actually made a video, a vlog in Germany recently, um, which I will link up there, which is about, you know, games versus engines and kind of deciding what it is that you want to make and kind of just talking about the differences. It's so bright out here. And just talking about the differences kind of between, you know, what it's like to make a game versus what it's like to make an engine and all of that. So check out that video if you want kind of to me, me to expand a little bit more about what I'm talking about here, because that's not what this video is about. But the point is like, I don't really like games, and I don't really like making games, but what I do love doing is making engines, and I guess this is kind of what this channel is about, and like, you know, the C++ and the open jail stuff that I've been teaching over the last almost two years now has kind of been specifically geared towards 
right let's take all that and let's actually build an engine now and again like i am gonna i am titling this the game engine series right but it's not really necessarily going to be a game engine i mean if you think about what a game engine is and what specifically i want to be building is it's just really like kind of a 3d real-time rendering application that's what it is, right? It's a way, it's an engine to make a 3D real-time rendering application, right? What I want to be able to do, and, and an interactive one at that as well, what I want to be able to do is make kind of this framework, this engine, so that people can construct real-time interactive 3D applications. That is the idea, right? With 3D graphics, that's the idea. Um, so of course you could apply that to games, absolutely. I mean, a lot of people will. It's going to be very well optimized for kind of you know, big scenes and lots of entities and all of that kind of stuff. And I'll probably throw in, you know, scripting and all of that kind of gameplay related code because that's not necessarily applicable to just games either, right? What we're going to be building is this engine that's capable of so much more than just making games. It's just capable of rendering interactive 3D graphics. Like, that's really cool. Um, so I can't wait to kind of build that with everyone. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what it's going to include. I'm, I'm not, like, we'll have an overview video where we discuss kind of the stages of this whole project. Um, and I'll probably like write kind of on a whiteboard, not really on a whiteboard, on like a tablet so that you guys can see. Um, and we'll kind of go through everything step by step. I don't want to really do that now, just off the top of my head, because I'm sure I'll miss things and I don't want to pull up notes now. Um, we want to kind of sit down in the, in the studio, in the office, if you will, and actually go through that. Um, but that being said, um, you know, we are going to kind of break down the project and go through everything step by step. But the idea is like, we're going to kind of build this thing together. Now, over me planning this series, and one of the reasons why it took so long was because it's just such a massively complicated task. Building an engine like this takes years for a whole team of people, right? Um, now, I'm fortunate in the fact that I kind of more or less know what I'm doing because I do have so many years of experience of actually making kind of a game engine um, and being in a game engine team, so I, I do know how to make a game engine. I've never really sat down and made a full kind of engine from scratch where I would consider it to the point of like, that's it, we can ship applications with this engine now because it has every, it's fully featured, right? I've never actually done that in my life. I know how everything works and I've done it all separately in different modules, but to combine it all into one huge project, not something that I've really done, right? And that's something that I've just been wanting to do. So this isn't, this isn't even just necessarily me being like, all right, let's make a series on how to make a game engine. This is me being like, that's it. I want to make a game engine now. I want to make my own engine. I want us to make our own engine, right? From the ground up. But unlike Sparky, which was another engine that I did make about three years ago, three and a half years ago, I think now. Um, right, yeah. That, that was kind of more or less, you know, for games specifically, and that was very kind of like quickly put together because it was, I made it in like the base, the base version of it in like 40 days for, um, for a game programming competition. But like this is gonna be a, like, and because of that, it was kind of me typing code and then explaining some things along the way. Whereas this is gonna be a tutorial. Like this is gonna take time. It's gonna be like slow. It's gonna be, it's gonna feature me like writing stuff drawing diagrams for you guys, notes, all of that kind of stuff. It's going to be like a full course almost, right? It's not going to be just something that I just, you know, whip up and kind of improvise on. It's been planned. It's like this whole thing where I'm actually going to explain everything. And because of that, these videos are going to be long. Not necessarily long, but there's going to, it's going to be very detailed and we might not get very far immediately. Like it's going to take a lot of time to actually build this up. And basically it's almost like like this engine and I'm sure that obviously, obviously in my life like I'll probably scrap this eventually and make a new engine as technology continues to improve and as I get get smarter and I learn new things as well obviously we're all we're all learning new things right but this is almost like just a, a almost like a little life project for me it's just something that I want to do in my life I want to build a game engine you guys are going to watch me and I'm also going to like work on it with you guys and I'm also going to explain everything and teach you what I'm doing, how I'm doing and we're going to decide things together. So it's going to be a really exciting project and I absolutely can't wait to get this thing started. It's been just, I've been wanting to do this my whole life basically or my whole kind of YouTube career life um, and it's finally happening and I'm so excited. Um, now you guys are going to come in in, in, the, in in the fact that like I am going to actively work with you guys. This is going to be a public project on GitHub. It's going to be completely free, of course. Um, it's just going to be like up on GitHub. You can look through every commit. You can log issues. There'll be like issue tracking. We'll have like a project because it's like almost like a Trello board that you can have on GitHub now, GitHub project or whatever it's called. Um, we're going to have that full thing set up like a professional 
game studio. Well, I think people are coming. Anyway, a professional game studio, a professional team, and that's gonna be so, so, so cool. Um, that's gonna be completely free. Um, so you guys are gonna interact with that repository, potentially even get collaborators in to help write the code for this, because again, it is gonna be such a big thing. And because it's such a big project that does kind of require a lot of man hours, a lot of work, obviously I'm gonna have to cut corners in some places, because I can't just build like Unity or Unreal by myself while explaining all of it and documenting it on video. That's that's, that's physically impossible, and I'm not trying to be realistic and be like, that's what I'm going to do. It's not. Like, for example, with the level editor and game engine tools, that's all going to be kind of built into the actual game runtime, like using IAM GUI, because it's not something that I can just be like, okay, I'm going to make a full Windows application that's going to be a level editor with my own UI framework. With a, that's not going to happen. I don't, it's impossible, right? Like, this stuff takes so much time. So there, there have been, like, compromises that I've had to make in order to actually make this, this project realistic, and I have thought about a lot of them, and, yeah, I mean, like, it's, but it's still going to be amazing, and I absolutely can't wait, and we are going to be writing a lot of things from scratch. We'll be using libraries, obviously, and other kind of third-party vendor kind of supplied um, tools and, like, code frameworks or whatever. That's going to happen. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. But overall, a lot of it is going to be written from scratch, from the ground up, um, which is going to be really, 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 really exciting. Now, if you want to support this project, because I do need your help, this is going to take a lot of my time, it already has. Um, so if you want to see this project actually kind of come to life and more of these episodes to go up, I really do need your support. So I do have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the Cherno. You will get rewards for helping to support, of course, such as early access to like game engine source code. The actual project will be on GitHub, will be public, will be free, but you'll get kind of code before it actually goes up. You'll also get experimental development branches, which is like me already having implemented certain features before I make the video about them. Like, and that could be months before, right? So you'll kind of see me write the code as I write the code myself before I make videos and all that stuff. And you can also hang out with me on like, um, on Discord, we have like a video chat once a month where we all the, all the kind of partner, which is like there's a tier called partner. Um, all of the partners kind of we all kind of hang out in a video chat and we talk about stuff. And we even we've been talking about the game engine series for the last year, so those guys actually know a lot about what I'm what, it's, what I'm saying here now, which is pretty cool because you know that kind of like I think there's 20 or so partners. They know like everything, which is really cool. When we have like our own partner in the Discord chat and all of that, so you you do get a handful of rewards. But most of all, you're just allowing me to kind of maybe work less and and kind of spend more of my time developing this game engine series um, because you'll kind of be supporting me financially. So that's just such a such an amazing thing. Um, and I'm so grateful for the people who have made it realistic for me to actually spend so much of my time on this. Um, so definitely jump on that and let's see let's see how good how big of a game engine we can all build together and how good we how good we can make it. I absolutely can't wait. I will see you guys next time. Oh I love all of you. <laughs> Goodbye.